It's quite likely you've never heard of Raja Ampat, and even if you have, you may not really know where it is. So, let me take a minute to explain. North of Australia, you'll find the largest tropical island in the world. The eastern part is known as Papua New Guinea, whereas the western side belongs to Indonesia and is known as West Papua. The Raja Ampat Islands form an arc to the north, west and south of the Bird's Head Peninsula. The region used to be part of Sarong, but has separated recently with its own district mayor and headquarters located in Waisai. My destination was the Pham Islands, right in the heart of Raja Ampat, to an area which has been recently established as a marine conservation area around an island called Panamu. The area supports record levels of fish and coral diversity but up until recently has remained unprotected from illegal and highly destructive fishing practices such as bomb fishing and the targeting of spawning aggregations for the live fish trade in China and Hong Kong. I joined Helen and the team from Sea Sanctuaries Trust on board the Hang Tour to learn about their conservation efforts in the area. Helen, can you tell me about your first visit to Raja Ampat and how you fell in love with the area? I first came here, I think, in 2005 or 2006 with Conservation International to get people on board with the whole conservation program in Raja Ampat. And I think, like many people, what was uh, spectacular to see the first time was actually the above ground environment here with pristine rainforest, something you really don't see hardly at all anymore. Then, of course, there is the diving. And uh, again, that was just such a buzz to see that amazing marine life. At what point did you personally decide that you could initiate a new marine protected area in this region? And how did Sea Sanctuaries Trust come about? Well, I was actually on, uh, on board a liverboard with a friend of mine, and I was explaining about conservation programs in Raja Ampat, and also about how a number of private initiatives had, had occurred where um, individuals had actually um, made a conservation agreement with the local communities to protect areas that otherwise would not be protected. And Simon said, well, why don't we do that? <laughs> I was like, well, it's not that easy. But in the end, we, um, we did because there were a couple of areas and one of them being here in Penamu that were really crying out for protection. So why Penamu? Spectacular, very special habitat. One of the top diving destinations in the whole of Raja Ampat. Ten of the hundred best dive sites are here, but it was still being bomb fished. And it's far enough away from the villages that they really couldn't do anything about it. The first step was to go and visit the villages and talk to the uh, headmen and find out whether they would be interested in this sort of proposal to have um, a marine protected area in return for social benefits. And they were very receptive to the idea because in Papua it's not just a matter of owning the land, they also manage their marine resources. And from smaller meetings to bigger meetings to um, developing a, a draft um, contract and refining that contract and finally we had an agreement on the 11th of November 2011. What do you hope to achieve over the next couple of years? Well, right now we're in the process of building a lookout post. Uh, so we, we're working hard really to get more and more community involvement. We're doing a workshop next week, which will be the first main training workshop for, for patrol teams. In order again to keep the community involved, we have a rolling crew of, of rangers who will come in and spend 10 days at a time working in the uh, lookout post and then another 10 villagers will take over from them. So it will be a rolling through the communities and everybody gets a taste of it and sees what's here. They'll be able to do some snorkeling whilst they're here. Some of them will learn to dive and help us with monitoring programs. Yeah, I see huge changes in the way um, uh, people think about conservation, their concept of uh, the new marine protected areas that have been developed. There has been a great deal of work that's gone on here and hopefully this is going to be one of the big success stories for the whole of Indonesia and a real example about how to do things.